the um, I went out and sort of met people and decided, you know, should we start a film festival here? Film festivals are some of my absolute favorite things to go to. But little did I know, at exactly the same time, the city of East Lansing had passed a resolution to form a com ex exploratory committee to find um, the possibility of hosting a film festival in East Lansing. So the word got out and the two of us met and within four months we developed the film festival. We accepted 48 films, which sound, well, it is a lot. Um, many, most of those are shorts. Well, I mean, that's pretty standard for uh, any film festival just because, because they're short, you know, you can show more of them. Well, it was originally known as Michigan Zone. The film or the filmmakers uh, have to be from a state that touches Lake Michigan. So Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana. And so then it became the Lake Michigan Film Competition. When I was younger, I remember reading some kind of Newsweek or Time article about children, like, it was a brief, it alluded to pigmentation loss when horrific events happen. It wasn't necessarily by sight, but like, something maybe happened tragic to the mother. But there's, um, my friend Angie has two twin cousins who have white strips in their hair, and they never knew really what it was from. But it's really interesting, because it's, they've, since they were babies, they've had this white pigment in both of their hair. What's great about that white streak was that when she becomes a teenager, she still has it. And so we know it's the same character without a lot of development. And then we see how she, what she does to try to relieve herself of this bitterness. Just watch it. It's 10 minutes. You can't go wrong. I mean, just here you go.